you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we are finally embarking on that Madden 21 journey, guys. We did post the Madden 21 reveal last night. If you don't know what Madden 21 is about yet, and you want to know, that is the video to go check out. It pretty much tells everything and ev anything and everything about Madden 21 Ultimate Team. Now, because that came out, they dropped them a database. We got the new cards. We got a lot of videos to make, guys. I'm super excited. You should be seeing like four videos today, guys. We're going to get back on the grind. Super excited for this. But, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, boys. Nothing, I, I love nothing more than growing the family, guys. So let's keep it up. And make sure to smash the like button, guys. I cannot express that to you guys more. No, likes right now at this point in time are really beneficial. So if you're a loyal one, you're always here. Hit that like button, boys. And that's about it. Comment down below who you're going to be taking. So, in this video, I'll be going over the best four. There's four team captains. I'm going to one of the best ones to take. I will then rank them, and I'll go over the rivals. I was going to split them into different videos, but I figured with how short it could be, you better just put them together. And you guys know your, your day one selections here. So, starting off with Aeneas Williams. Aeneas Williams, cornerback, looking like maybe potentially a front runner, considering he's a depth position, because that's what you guys want to consider. When you take your team captain, you usually want to make sure it's a depth position now. This year, of course, you are able to exchange again, so don't feel locked if you take the wrong one. But definitely take the one you think you want, and if you don't like him, you can always change it. Like, for example, real quick, if you take an Eddie George running back, and you love him, he's amazing, but then a new Saquon comes out, and you're like, oh, I want that instead, go exchange Eddie George. Pick up McC uh, McCaffrey, or pick up Leroy Glover, or Aeneas Williams. But let's get into the stats. I'll go over who I like. So Aeneas Williams, they're all going to be 87 overalls. He's a cornerback. 85 speed, 87 excel, 87 agility, 86 jumping, 86 awareness, 86 play rec, 85 man, 81 zone, 78 press. Now, Aeneas Williams really gonna, it's gonna really depend on if it's a man or zone start to the year. If it's a zone start to the year, Aeneas Williams is gonna be good. He's gonna be fine because, of course, he is a cornerback. So, at the end of the day, stats don't always matter as much as their position eligibility because what's more important, not using the card or at least getting him as a depth guy, right? It could be a cornerback one, two, three, or four. So, don't look too much into the stats just yet because they're gonna get better, of course. Uh, you always want to just look more into the position and do you like where he's heading because based on his speed and everything, it looks like he'll be heading in a decent direction, maybe. It won't ever won't always be the won't be the fastest cornerback because there's faster ones at an 87 overall. Of course, they're gonna be faster than 90. But he's gonna be up there for one of the best cornerbacks. And another beauty of him is he does have a 79 hit power and an 80 pursuit, which does pretty much mean that he's going to have a good hit power as he gets better, guys. Like he's gonna be able to lay the boom. He's gonna be like a baby night train lane with good pursuit, good catching, guys. And these is pretty solid, not gonna lie. Next, we got Leroy Glover. Defensive tackle, and again, guys, the beauty of these cards is they can be on any theme team. When you get these cards, they come with 32 different versions of them, so you can pick any team that you want. So if you're gonna make a Texans theme team or a Giants theme team or a Chiefs or popular like a Ravens, just toss them on there, guys. Super awesome they did that. So Leroy Glover got 75 speed, decent speed for a starting D team of the year. 85 excel, super solid. Not gonna lie. 84 strength, a bit low. That'll get up there. 84 awareness, 84 play rec. 83 block shed, 87 pursuit, 86 tackle, 81 hit power, 80 power move, 85 finesse move, guys. Not going to lie, I do love that 85 finesse move. I like that. On defensive tackle, finesse move typically leads to quicker power pass rushes, and having a high finesse move means he will end up at a 90 pretty soon in his uh, his upgrading path, which does mean he's going to have an awesome path to being a great pass rusher, and a pass rusher what appears to pass rush every year. And... Good pursuit, which means he's gonna be able to chase down running backs and quarterbacks, even despite his speed. Honestly, guys, the Roy Glover's looking pretty solid, not gonna lie. The Roy Glover's looking pretty good. He's definitely gonna be up there in my, in my decision making process here. I do like him, especially because of DT. Two things about DT you hate buying them, you never want to spend any coins on them at all. Also, they're in that position, and you, you, you only thing you hate more than buying one DT is buying the backup DT. Again, depends on how you play. Next, we got Eddie George. Eddie George, halfback, again, he played for the Titans, he played for the Cowboys, but on this picture, he plays for 32 teams. So coming on down, Eddie George, I really did like him at first because I, 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 was, I really liked Eddie George in real life. I, I watched a lot of his highlights. I didn't watch when he actually played, but I liked him. But his speed's a little bit low, 85 speed. Now, that's not low in comparison, if you really think about it, but like McCaffrey has an 85 speed, and he's way more elusive. Derrick Henry has an 85 speed. He's a bit better of a power back. So in those terms, I may not want to go running back. Because, again, it's, it's not a position you want. It's more like I'll play with him for to have fun and then get rid of him. Maybe I'll do a gameplay. But I wasn't so sure about keeping an Eddie George. 
85 Excel, 81 Agility, 85 Strength. So the Excel's great, Speed's great. It's just a matter of there will be faster running backs. The first Legend running back will be faster. There's another Mark Sound like last year. There you go. Um, Strength's great actually for a running back, guys. He's gonna get. He's gonna be like a Bo Jackson if you look at it. If you look at it real carefully, he's gonna have it over above 90 Strength by like his fourth upgrade. Not to mention his 86 Trucks gonna be up at a 90 really fast. Change of direction 82, 84 ball carry vision, 82 stiff arm, low spin and juke, 86 carry and 85 break tackle. Card's gonna be great, not gonna lie. As he gets a bit higher up in overall, he's gonna be super great, but not entirely sure if he will compete at day one if another legend running back comes out or how they'll keep these cards above everyone else. And he's not a depth position. You sometimes use a backup back, but you really don't want your team captain to be your backup back. Next, we got Ed McCaffrey, wide receiver for the Denver Broncos. Uh, Christian McCaffrey's father, if I'm not mistaken here. Moving on down, he was six foot five though. McCaffrey's not that tall. Kind of weird. But coming on down, if you look at these stats here, here's the wide receiver deposition at the side. 85 speed, 86 excel. So for day one, 85 speed is actually pretty solid, just because of the fact that the high speed receiver is Tyreek, which doesn't really count. But Odell is like one of those high speed guys, he's only an 86, I believe. 86 excel, 84 Jody, 72 strength, 87 jumping, 86 awareness. 85 catching, 86 catch in traffic, 82 spec catch, 83 short route running, 86 medium route running, 80 deep route running, 85 release, 7, 81 change of direction, 86 carrying, 81 stiff arm. Okay, Ed McCaffrey is pretty good, but we do get a free Andre Johnson. So the thing here is you could take Ed McCaffrey and Andre Johnson early on and just have your receiver stacked out and spend money elsewhere, or you could spread these players around, around the field a bit more if you really want to do that. So I don't know if I'll take Ed McCaffrey. Uh, guys, honestly, after reading his stats, I think he's like a top a top two pick for me. But do you want double wide receivers? You'll have Andre Johnson, and then you probably want Tyree Kill, which leaves you with one receiver spot. I really don't use three wide receivers. So for me, I will not be taking Ed McCaffrey in my, in my scheme here, although I really like him. So for me, coming at number one is going to have to be Aeneas Williams. I mean, it's just pretty simple. He's a cornerback. He has the potential for good hit power in the run game, good potential to stop the run. Gonna be pretty fast, gonna have good coverage, gonna be gonna be a cornerback. Cornerbacks are such a good position. It's like defensive tackles. We love buying our first shutdown corner. We're okay with buying our second, but no one likes buying the third. So as long as you have a second always there, the third will never feel like a third. Or he could be your third, and for the beginning of the year, it'll probably be your one. And that's gonna be important to start the year. Having a lockdown corner to start the year is so important. I can't stress that. People are gonna kill you in the pass game and the run game. So Good defensive tackles, good corners. If you can stop their offense, you'll more or less score yourself. Um, put him in, and then a second, I'm going to put Leroy Glover. Just because I really like the stats. It's defensive tackle, and he's positioned on buying, and he's going to be great. And the, it's going to be it's going to be a pass rush every year. McCaffrey's going to come in at third. And then we have Eddie George at fourth. Eddie George, again, I don't, I, I don't mind if you take him and you play around, have some fun with him to start the year, but I would not keep him for the long haul. And moving on to the rivals, guys. We got Jalen Smith, Big Ben, and Zach Ertz. So let's go through these stats real quick. These guys are one of the one of the first solos you're gonna want to do. Go through them, play the rival challenges, and get your free cards. Jalen Smith, middle linebacker, already looking pretty solid because he's a linebacker. It's the 83 speed, which is good user speed to start the year. 86 excel, great. 80 agility, great. 80 jumping, good. 83 awareness, 83 play rec. 69 blocks are decent, but if you use them, it's fine. 86 pursuit, 82 tackle, 87 hit power. That is super solid, guys, because if you're a user, you know that it's really important to have the hit power when you burst through gaps or you come off the edge or you kill a receiver over the middle. That's going to force some fumble and some drops. 78 zone is good enough for the beginning of the year. Now, here's the thing. It really all depends on Patrick Queen stats. Because if Patrick Queen is a faster card, I'll probably want to use her him instead and then leave Jay, uh, Jalen Smith alone, which you'll still be fine, but I prefer Jalen Smith as a user. And if not, again, Jalen Smith's still looking super solid. Let's move on to Big Ben. Big Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, athleticism wise, not gonna be able to run. That's expected. 86 throw power. Not not bad. I want to say low, but not bad for the beginning of the year, considering it's more or less where everyone else is. 83 shorts fine. 81 mediums fine. 79 is kind of short for deep accuracy. 77 throw on the run. 80 play action. 79 throw under pressure. 83 break sack. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Do not like this Big Ben card. Can't move. Um, accuracy barely is okay, and everything else kind of sucks. So. You can get better quarterbacks than that, and I really don't like being locked into quarterbacks regardless. And then we got Zach Ertz. 80 speed on Zach Ertz, guys. That is huge. And you know why it's huge? Because Zach Ertz usually has like a 76 speed. He's like Jason Witten territory. And if I don't, if I don't stand corrected, I believe Kittle has like an 81 speed. So Zach Ertz had an 80 speed, looking super solid. 84 Excel, again, really great. They're going to make Zach Ertz usable this year. 
78 jumping, 86 awareness, 87 catching is great, 82 catching traffic, 86 spec catch, 86 short route running, 80 medium route running, 79 deep route running, and 83 release. Ooh, can he run block? Not exactly, but he can kind of pass block. Um, guys, Zach Ertz is looking super solid now, not gonna lie, with an 80 speed. Now, it comes down to tight ends, like, for me here, I think I put Ben Roethlisberger in last right there. Uh, I think Zach Ertz is going to come in second just because I think I'd rather an Evan Ingram or like someone slightly faster if because there is a faster option. But Zach Ertz is looking good this year. I don't think he's going to be a bum like he usually is because of his speed. Looking pretty solid. I do like the Zach Ertz card. Will I take him? No, I think I'll go with Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith is going to be a solid defensive player. You're going to have him and Queen if you did the rookie premiere or one other guy. Going to lock down your linebacker, then take maybe the Rugal over in ES Williams, secure up your secondary slash line. You can get your defense looking pretty good day one. Plus, you also have that free Ronnie lot and everything else. So, I'm super excited about this, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. To rank it out, we got Aeneas Williams for the best team captain, followed by Glover, McCaffrey, and George. Then we got Smith, Ertz, and Ben Rosberger for the rivals. Thank you guys for watching. Great to be back, guys. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, well, boys. Come join the family. Smash the like button. Can we get 100 likes on our first database video, guys? The more likes we get, the more our channel keeps growing, guys. So, keep it up. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.